you are learning Power BI, then this is the series for you. Start from video one to learn all the basic concepts of Power BI. This particular series had more than 150 plus videos to teach you each and every concepts around DEX, around Power Query, so that you can enhance your skills in Power BI. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss one power query table function that is table.distinct. Now what does table.distinct? It takes a table and optional criteria means it could be a column or a criteria to find out the distinct value. So let's take an example what does it gives us. So it takes table.distinct so here the table is been given as record and the output would be distinct record. Now you can see that here the first row and the third row are exactly same. So that's why that has been removed. Now what you can do here is basically you can give a column also and the distinct can come based on that column. Now please remember if the values are different in another column that is not the criteria here. The, the distinct is going to come based on this. So base, these two are, are basically uh, same as per B. So A and A, so only one record of this small A will come and then the record of the B will come. So this is how distinct is going to work. We are going to take some example and test this out. Now, if you remember in Power Query, you do that remove duplicates. How does that work? Yes, table dos distinct. Okay, so now go to home in Power BI transform data, transform data, and we are going to try out this operation. Okay. So first of all, I have a table, but I don't have a duplicate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this source and let me create some duplicate. Let me create this table first of all in a newer source. So in a new source, blank query and advanced editor. Let me go ahead and create this table. Okay. Not double equal to, we need only single equal to. And we, we're going to apply the function on that. So let's duplicate the record. And let's do one more thing. Let's duplicate it with a little bit of more difference. So in this case, what we are going to do, we are not going to duplicate the column one, but column B and C are duplicate. And then let's have one more record. Where the B is same, but the C is going to be different. So here what is happening B and C are same here. Uh, so we have this record where A is different and B and C are same here. A is again different from this one and the A is same, A is B is same and then C is different. Okay. So that kind of stuff is there. So let's look at what data we are going to get. So this is the data which we are getting. Okay. So now if we enclose this into table, dot distinct what is what's going to happen okay so let's check that out so now what we are going to do is table dot distinct function what is the first argument it need it's need a table and equation criteria we don't want to give right now okay what what is going to happen so the first two are duplicate exact now the second third and fourth are not duplicate because the column c is changing okay in the case of first and two first two they are exact replica so first two got deleted so one of the record is only coming Okay. And then what is happening here is, uh, we are getting the, uh, what you say ABC and then with the, because it's ABC and the B column is going to have value one and date and the C again is coming because of it has a different value because C has a different value because all the records we are comparing. Now this seems pretty good. Now let's go ahead and do one thing. The second criteria, which we can give instead of table, we say, I actually want a column B to be, you know, deciding factor. Now, when I say column B is deciding factor, I only get three rows. Now, why I'm getting three rows? See, this is B one, this is one, this is one, this is one. All these are deciding factor and B is only having one value. So only one record I'm going to get and that two is going to pick up the value of one of the rows, which is preferably the first row it has picked up. Okay. Now what happens if I want to do it is more than one column. So I done on complete table. I have done it on one column. Can I do it on two column? Now, how do I give two columns pair? Because here, if I give double quotes, can should, should I give one B comma C 
and if i do such thing is going to error out because there is no column b comma c so let's try can we give a list so let's give here b in the list which is starting with angular bracket and then let's give c and try it out now let's do it now what we are getting here we got a b c first row fine the second one is duplicate because of this one the third one is also duplicate isn't it the first three values are same then the fourth row the c is different b and c is different so we are getting that third row see a b c this a b this a column is not participating anyway in this removal of duplicates it's only b and c which are participating and because of these out of these three rows we are only getting one row now b and c the c has changed here and that's why we got another row here and then definitely the last two rows are already different but we have b is different so they are coming so what we have learned here is basically uh, v has taken a table and we can take distinct of complete table we can take distinct of individual column or a set of column now let's rename this and table distinct and let's do one more stuff we we discussed something before so let's go ahead and copy this code okay into a new source blank query we have to right click and say advanced editor here and now let's use the code which we have the remove duplicate so first of all i click here on the empty uh, so that there is no nothing get selected in this table then i go here and i see this remove rows and i say remove duplicate rows so you see this is something which happened when we have done this one and then table dot distinct and the first source is coming let me remove this step again and go back to the original position and then i select the column a and then i say remove rows remove duplicate we have done that isn't it four rows a b c a b c a b c one a b c that's what we are getting let's remove it then again go back let's select b and then say remove rows remove duplicates three rows because of table dot distinct source b this is what also we have done now let's with the shift let's select two columns go and say remove duplicates see remove duplicates source because we have used table there but here the complete source is coming and you can look at what is there in the source and then b comma c is coming in a list same thing exactly is happening when you are using remove rows remove duplicate rows in that of so now you know how that remove rows work now you can go ahead and write down this code manually okay so go ahead and try this out and do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you